This video is about learning how to clean and reorganize messy data to make it more tidy using the tidier package. And we've already learned about what tidy data looks like and how tidy data is easier to analyze uh, once we bring it into the computer. And remember that three of those principles of tidy data are that we have one column per type of information, one row per observation, and we only have one value in each cell. Unfortunately, there's lots of existing data out there that doesn't follow these and other tidy data rules. And in those cases, we need to know how to convert those data into a more tidy form in order to analyze them. And we can do a lot of this work in R using a package called Tidier, spelled Tidy R. So let's go ahead and install that package uh, so that we have it to work with. So we'll do install.packages tidy r and while that's installing we'll go ahead and uh, create our uh, library calls up here at the top and we're going to want to load tidy r and it looks like we've finished installing so let's go ahead and run that line and we'll also go ahead and load dplyr because that's what we're used to using for working with data and we'll, we'll use it a little bit. And then we need some data to work with. And we're going to work with some real data, which is data on trees in the Western Ghats, which is a mountain range, mountainous region in India. And let's go ahead and load that data in directly from a URL. And since it's messy, I'm going to go ahead and call this raw data. And we'll use read.csv to read it in. And then we'll just load it directly from a URL. And that URL is https colon slash slash data carp and tree dot org slash semester biology slash data slash macro plot underscore data underscore rev with a capital R dot txt. Uh, and this is tab delimited data. So we want to add sep is equal to backslash t. And if we look at this data, we'll see that it has information on the plot that's been sampled, the species code for the, the tree, and then there are up to five different measures of tree girth. So this is the, how big around the tree is. And if the tree only has one stem, at 1.6 meters, which is the height that we normally measure trees at, then we'll just have one measurement. But if we scroll down a little ways, we'll see that there are trees that have multiple girths. And so those are trees that have split uh, below that 1.6 meter height. And so there are multiple stems for that single tree at this 1.6 meters, and then we get a measurement for each of those stems at that height. And there are five columns here because the maximum number of stems on a tree at 1.6 meters uh, is five. And this data is pretty well structured, right? It's rectangular. We only have one piece of information in each cell, but we violated the rule about columns. And so instead of having one column for each type of information, 
In this case, we actually have five separate columns, each of which contain uh, information on tree girth. And as a result, we also have key information that we might want to actually analyze, which is that we've got different stems for the same tree that are now indicated in the column header. So we have to sort of know which column it's in, and then that tells us that this is the second stem for this tree. And we've got a lot of zeros here that aren't actually zeros. So it's not that uh, the third stem for this tree has a zero diameter, zero girth. It's that there isn't actually a third stem for this tree. And ultimately, the format that we'd like this data to be in is a plot ID, a species code, a tree ID so that we know which girths are associated with each individual tree, a stem column indicating which stem we're looking at, whether it be one, two, or three, or four, or five, then the girth, and none of these rows for stems that don't actually exist. And so what we'll do over the next few videos is learn how we can go about creating data in that form from uh, this data as we have it using TidyR. And so we need to, I don't know if I'm up to doing this this afternoon. God, it would be nice to have it done though. And so these are all things that we want to be able to clean up to work with this data. And ultimately, the format that we would like to have it in is a plot ID column, a species code column, and does this example even really work?